New York City, U.S. President Donald Trump has threatened to cut off financial aid to countries that vote in favor of a draft United Nations resolution against his decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. They take hundreds of millions of dollars and even billions of dollars, and then they vote against us. Well, we're watching those votes. Let them vote against us. Well save a lot we don't care, Trump told reporters at the White House on Wednesday. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas told Muslim leaders that a U.S. decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital was a crime which showed that Washington should no longer play a role in Middle East peace talks. Donald Trump's inauguration, the legalization of same-sex marriage and everything in between, we take a look back at the year that was. Jewel Tarpsfield explains how Australian accountant Isaac Emmanuel Roberts was arrested after allegedly being caught with drugs at Ballas International Airport. Audio, 3 Ord Shrive. A train has derailed in Washington state, killing three people and injuring dozens more. A federal safety official said the train, which was the first to take a new route, was going too fast. A series of recent cyber attacks has netted North Korean hackers millions of dollars in virtual currencies like Bitcoin, as international sanctions drive the country to seek new sources of cash. In a horrifying accident, a DJ is killed as a stage collapses on him in high winds. Nearly 8,500 firefighters are battling the Thomas Fire in Southern California that has destroyed more than 1,000 structures with the wildfire set to become the largest in the state's history in coming weeks. Canadian police said they are investigating the mysterious deaths of Barry Sherman, founder of Canadian pharmaceutical firm Apotex, and his wife, Honey, one of the Ashoa's wealthiest couples whose bodies were found in their mansion. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas told Muslim leaders that a U.S. decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital was a crime which showed that Washington should no longer play a role in Middle East peace talks. The 193-member UN General Assembly will hold a rare emergency special session on Thursday at the request of Arab and Muslim countries on the controversial U.S. decision. U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley in a letter also threatened the U.N. member states with possible retaliation if they supported the resolution criticizing Washington's decision, saying Trump takes Thursday's vote personally and the U.S. will be taking names. Haley's warning letter to most of the 193 U.N. member states and threatening tweet on Wednesday drew sharp criticism from the Palestinian and Turkish foreign ministers who are flying to